Ex Chancellor uh, um, Zeppos, let, let me go to your last point first. Uh, ask both of you, and I've only got five minutes, so if you could give me short answers, I'd appreciate it. We'll talk more later. But um, how can we how can we make this a continuing conversation? For example, would you be willing if he asked you, which I expect he might, uh, to sit down with Secretary Duncan and talk about the recommendations you have that the department by itself could take care of? Uh, absolutely. I, I'm sure Nick would agree with me. We would, uh, we're very invested in this uh, and process many, And now. how many of the recommendations, the 59 or the 10, roughly could the department itself deal with and wouldn't require a congressional uh, action? Let me ask Terry, we, could you estimate that number? Uh, I, I was going to say 10 to 12. Uh, Terry just said uh, 12, uh, a dozen recommendations could probably done be done directly oh, by the maybe department. Maybe a quarter, maybe a quarter right, of exactly. recommendations Secretary could, Duncan could, could do with. Could do. And I, yeah. Nick, I'm sure you would be pleased to join me. In yeah, that. I'd be pleased. I, 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 I mentioned in one of our committees, um, after uh, the uh, terrible attacks of 9-11, uh, I would say that the friction between universities, research universities, and some of the law enforcement agencies and the intelligence agencies, well, it, it got pretty intense. And so uh, what I thought was wonderful was that the director of the FBI stepped forward and said, we have export-import regulations. There are a bunch of immigration issues that are coming up. We seem to always be in tension. Why don't I have 15 of you meet with me twice a year and go over, uh, let, if, if I may, I'd like to focus. So, do, do you agree that about a quarter of the yeah uh, would, would 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 be, and and, and you'd agree that you'd, you'd be willing to sit down with Secretary Duncan, absolutely, if he'd like to do it in in that way. Uh, Chancellor, as I, Zeppos, as I listen to you, if I if my math's right, Vanderbilt has about a half million half billion dollars in federal research funds, right? Yes, about $500 million, and, with about 620 your, your total. total costs of regulation were about $150 million. And I think you said that, that $14 million of that was, 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 not, was related to, not related to research. Is, is that right? right? That Correct. Means, that means it sounds like about $130 million or so is related to research. And if my math's even roughly right, that's about a quarter of all your research dollars uh, seem to go to uh, keeping up with rules and regulations. And the head of the National Academy of Sciences told me that their studies twice showed that 42% of the time uh, was spent on, on, on research. Now, both of you represent uh, universities that do a lot of government-sponsored research, and all of us, every one of us sitting at this table, would like to see you know a thousand more multi-year grants at NIH or the various federal agencies. If what do you think of of, of the idea that that 42 percent of the time is spent on on administrative research, according uh, on administrative work by by investigators? Or that maybe as much as 20 or 25 percent of the money is spent on that is is that excessive? And if it is excessive, how should we go about trying to reduce it? Because that might be the first place to get another billion dollars and another thousand uh, multi-year grants for government-sponsored research. Well, uh, Chairman Alexander, you're you're so right to focus on this issue. It is an enormous frustration frustration for our researchers and, and our universities. Um, and and uh, it's my understanding that the uh, National Academy of Sciences has been charged to looking at a cost analysis of the research uh, enterprise, sort of in parallel to what we have done with the uh, focusing on the Department of Education. So. I believe uh, they're expected to issue a report on uh, the issues you're, you're addressing. But, but the dollar figures and the time figures, do they sound about right based on your experience at, at Maryland? They, and at they do. It, I mean, it, as, that, uh, as, um, that's an astonishing amount of money it, and time to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with those numbers. Uh, my colleague just handed me a note saying that we do within the system about 1.3 billion dollars of uh, research and 225 million uh, was spent on administrative uh, 
work, much of which having to do with compliance. And if the head of the academy's estimate was right that maybe 10 percent would be more appropriate than 42 percent, that's, that's a lot of money. That's, that's a lot of money. A lot that's of, a lot lot of research, research grants. A lot of innovation, a yeah. lot of potential yeah. cures. Well, this wasn't, your, your subject was the Department of Education, yes. not this. That's a yeah. very good point. But that's something that we could consider. Now, why don't I go to Senator Murray? My time's up.